All the red smoke can only mean one thing. That's right. We have ourselves an infestation. And yes, I'm going to run away from the zombie momentarily because I don't know why. I just thought I'd come over here and see if we can get a better idea of what's going on. By the time I'm ready to turn around and hit this guy, uh, it'll, I don't know, it'll have been 15 seconds or some stupid crap. Sometimes I pay attention to that. Sometimes I don't care. There had been some shooting going on nearby. Mm, you're a red guy. Okay. As long as you're not acidic, I don't really care. We can come hang out. It's fine. How you doing? Yep. You're just fine. One more. Oh, we need to go bash the crawler. Ooh, you're a tough one. Okay, that's interesting. I'm kind of glad that we have an infection nearby. I should show you on the map momentarily where we are. Because this was actually here on the last one. We just uh, kind of ignored it. As long as you're not acidic, once again, I don't care. You can come hang out. It's all good. How you doing? Bash you in the face. With any luck, you'll drop some ammo. So... Uh, you. Didn't check you. Okay, right. Good. Perfect. Uh, this is where we are. Guess I don't need that map marker. We were right over here last time. We were kind of at that factory. Uh, no, sorry. Right there, rather. It was right next to the factory. So, um, maybe we did the factory too? I think we did the factory too. So all those things. Now, I did kind of want to wander around just a little bit to... St oh, nope. Wrong one. Just to see. There are dead bodies over there. My suspicion is that we had a wandering trader, and if that's the case, our wandering trader has long since wandered away. That would be my, my hunch here. Oh man, I, it's been a minute. I I was hearing him right up until I started recording the episode. And all I know is that it was this general direction. Nope. No, nope, friendly scavengers. Okay, good. Well, that answers the question. I was thinking if we had a wandering trader, I wanted to go track him down and, you know, see what they got. But if not, that's fine. We don't need to worry about it. Let's just start clearing the area out here. Do a little whistle action just to see if we get anyone else to come out. Doesn't seem like it. That's fine. We are, in fact, going to take care of this infestation today. That is the plan. I want to see if we can get anything good out of it. Nothing else, you know. Get some ammo and stuff over here. That is more than I meant to grab. That's going to be a problem. Okay. Jump! Yeah, I didn't want these guys. Uh, I don't know if they are hitting the vehicle right now. Because if they are, that's kind of a problem. Um, here we go. This is just going to get everyone over here. And I think I might be hitting... No, I'm not. Okay. I say, I think I might be hitting the vehicle, but I guess I'm not. Um, I guess if I just click away here without aiming, do some hip firing. Oh, crap. That was not what I was wanting to deal with. Here, let's go ahead and use one of these right now. That's literally why it was there. Well, I mean, not for this specific uh, example, but... You know, that sort of thing. Last mag. I wonder if I can hit these guys from here. Without hitting the vehicle, that's kind of my main concern. Oh, good grief, dude. Once again. Alright, let's use another one of those guys, and then we need to use one of those, like Pronto. I mean, in fact, we need to use two of them. There we go. I totally screwed this up. It's fine. It's fine. It's not. But I'm just going to say this because I really don't have much choice at this point. Come on. Don't be acidic. I don't even know what you are. I think you might have red eyes. I'm not sure. Here, if I can bonk you again. There we go. There we go. And then we got a crawler that's still awake over here. So let's kind of drag you around a little bit just to relocate you. Ah, oh man, that did not go well at all. Infected undead, infected undead. I don't know. I think it's the acidic ones, right? That's 
Maybe it's just the infected undead. I don't know. Wow, look at all that ammo, though. That was great because we used a bunch of it. Acidic, yeah. See, it's you guys. I know my zombs. Ooh, some Winchester rounds. I keep waiting for the day that we have a bunch of Winchester rounds. And we get to bust out whatever the weapon was that we got a while back. Like, I'm, I'm really, truly looking forward to that. I want to do it. All right, so managed to not destroy the Humvee, which honestly, I'm not even sure how I managed to not destroy the Humvee, but uh, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get up on this car. This one's going to be easier to deal with all of the unfriendlies from. Then we can take this guy out here and find us some 762 ammo. We are actually getting kind of low on 762. We only have 115 left. That's kind of worrisome, actually. I mean, we don't even have, we don't really have a lot of anything in particular. We've blown through a bunch of our nine. Hmm. Well, I mean, we can always uh, make some ammo, I guess, but. Uh, let's see, how do we want to do this? I guess we can do it like this. This is fine. Oh, especially because you're acidic. Ugh, yuck. Do not want. Uh, here, let's stand up and whistle. And we're going to run over here and whistle again. Okay, I don't think anyone's coming out to say hi, but I'm not trusting that at this point. Let's go kind of wander around the back. As a matter of fact, let me put that away, because if we need to suddenly sprint, I want to be able to, to really just... Bust into a gallop here and get out of here. Okay. Ah, oh, man. You didn't even have anything on you? What a rip. Okay. That's our first weekend stage. So we got to... Oh. We got to pull back. And we don't want to pull back to that car. Holy crap, dude. That was not okay. Uh, you are not acidic. You are just dead. I don't know what to use. Um... I guess we can use this guy. I mean, <laughs> who needs who needs aiming? Who needs aiming down sights when you can just uh, you know do some hip firing with a sniper rifle? Oh, you are not dead. All right, well let's let's dead you, and then we need a critical hit to be able to take this guy out. One health. That's just bogus. Oh, there's another dude? Okay. So here, let's switch back to our melee weapon. Mostly fine, as long as they're not acidic. I'm not worried about them. If they are, well then, crap. And here, let's just whistle. Just to make sure. Mm, take that. Okay. More zombies crawling out of the ground. So go back to our safe car. You are not acidic. All is right with the world. Mm. There we go. Let's say we should be able to get a headshot on this guy. I I doth protest in stuff. Oh, look at you up there. And what I would like to know is Oh. Ow. Ow ow. Ow ow ow. What I was going to say is I would like to know is, are you going to fall over and off the roof? No. Okay, it's fine. This zombie. This zombie man. I mean, I'll take the 50. I'm not upset by that, I guess. So, you know, let's go ahead and drink some water. Put that back in place, and then... We're okay for the moment. Got to take care of this guy back here. I really do look forward to getting enough ammo to switch weapons. Because it's just kind of obnoxious that we can't two-shot these guys. I mean... Maybe we just need that, that 50 cal. We, can, we need the Barrett. Maybe that's all it is. 
Zombies crawling out again. Let's make sure we're up high this time. Oh, hi, guys. None of you are acidic, right? That's, again, that's like literally all I care about. Here, we'll use this gun because we should be able to two-shot these guys with the Guardian. And I'm pretty sure I got it right this time. Let me take a look. Guardian. Guardian. Yeah. Got the right gun. Sorry, I muted the uh, the crowd there because I needed to sneeze. I didn't think you really wanted to hear me sneeze, so my bad. If you wanted to hear me sneeze, uh, I'd blow out your eardrums. Uh, let me know. It can probably be arranged. Wow. That's a good chunk of Winchester ammo right there. Look at that. We got a full stack of 25 finally. That has only taken... Um, 20 days in, are we? I have no idea. 12 days. 12 days to find a stack of 25. Yeah. That stuff's hard to find, man. Like, no joke. Don't want to deal with any clowns. No clowning around. We got eight rounds left in the Guardian. Hey, look at that, dude. That's fantastic. Okay, take all that. That was some more nine right there, I believe. Quick whistle, just to make sure. And then we should be able to just bash this thing down until it's done. I don't remember, do we get one more crawling out as it explodes? Yes? No? Maybe? So? I don't remember. Two more swings, one more swing. All right, let me get out of here. Just to make sure. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Cloud should dissipate here. Let's go see what we got in here. Some knocked over cupboards. We'll check that right quick. Sure, why not? Might have some food or something. Um, You know what? I'm going to take that because we have so much meat lying around that um, we can basically fill all the meat into that one container. That'll be fine. And then here, let's check the fridge right quick too. Right, kitty? She's like, I don't care, man. Unless you're getting me food, I don't care. Oh, good grief. Another Alice pack. Arnold's Revenge Long Scope. Where did all the meat go, by the way? <laughs> it's all right there. Look at that. There you go. Save some space. Put the MREs in there too. And then... Um, I guess we can just go ahead and throw the Colonel's Revenge in there. That's fine. And I don't know, somewhere in here, I need to, I need to kill all these. I'm sorry. I lost track of where my, my boxes were here. Let's take all the ammo. These guys can go in here. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves our first horde beacon. That doesn't really belong in that box, but I'm going to leave it there for the moment. It's fine. And then we'll put that guy in there. Tack helmet. Spec Ops helmet. Uh, you are taller. Then we got a heavy scope, which will not fit in there. Ah, oh, man, here. You'll fit in there, though. And then the hunting hatchet. I had said on a previous one, been trying to be mindful of if we find a hunting hatchet, I do want it. And then I think we have enough of those containers. I'm just not going to sweat them for now. Okay. Uh, it's snowing. Oh, crap. I did not bring my my skis or anything. Hmm. All right. Well, it's fine. Whatever. I'm actually really excited that we got a horde beacon finally. That's cool. That's good stuff. Um, now nah, we don't need to eat that. I was just thinking... I mean, we could, but it doesn't, it doesn't stack up in any way. So what's the point? I need to hit some uh, pills here. I'm getting really annoyed with the Geiger counter not stopping. It's very obnoxious. It's just we don't really have tons of them, so I'm kind of hesitant to really just, you know, commit to using them. Here, let's throw that guy down there. That's fine. What are we at for batteries now, by the way? We've got 10. So we've got a full stack. I mean, this guy is probably, yeah, it's getting close. And then this guy's also probably, wow, 5% getting close. I never did in the last one, I never did put together the um, 
battery recharging station. I'd like to do that this time around. I mean, I said that last time around too, and I just, I don't know. I think I was still just trying to learn so many of the, the different things going on in the game. And then kind of toward the end, I was running into issues trying to figure out what in the world was going on with the Horde Beacon that I just kind of got distracted by that. And the Horde Beacon problems I had, I think, were just something to do with uh, the guy spawning in the ground and just got to have a, a better location for the Horde Beacon. So I think that's all squared away. Hey, look at that. We'll take a book. Take a wall light. I think we already have a couple of those in hand anyway. Nope. Battery run out. Battery has indeed run out. All right, let's go ahead and swap this guy out. We'll take that one. We'll put that in place. We'll put the empty right there. And we can turn that back on. All right, and we'll search this guy, and then I think we're going to get out of here. I think it's probably time to head back to base and drop off some things. Hey, we'll take water jugs anytime I can get them. Those are good things. Good, good things. Could probably take an extra bedroll just to drop it down at places, but... I'm determined not to die, which now that I've said that means I'm probably going to die. Anyway, I'm going to go back to base meet you there. We don't have a real reason to do this. Let's see, what weapon can we use? Maybe if we reload this guy. How are you doing? I thought uh, we're just passing by. It's been a minute since we stopped at this place, so why not? So we're just going to stop at the police station and... Uh, just check the, the boxes right quick. We're not going to really hang around here long. Although, I am going to stop and check every single zombie because I want 27 bucks when possible, right? I mean, that's just... It goes without saying. If they're going to give me 27 bucks, I want to take it. All right, here, let's roll in a little closer. And um, I guess we can pull this guy out again. A scope or something would be very handy right now, but we're just going to go ahead and roll with that. Should have one more magazine ready to go for this gun. And then we're basically out because everything needs to be reloaded right now. All right, I think these guys are probably stuck with the exception... Nope. I was going to say with the exception of this one I thought was stuck. How are you doing? Okay, three more rounds. Um, there, we can just go ahead and reload. Reload. Survived 13 days so far. How is that even possible? Got me. I mean, barely. Look at that. Oh, private bunker key card. Excellent. I don't know that we already have any of those. Private bunker. No, we don't. Nothing on that guy. Nothing on that guy. Okay. Nothing of consequence, to be ever so slightly more precise. All right, let's, uh, let's go in real quick. I don't remember last time we came here, did we have bolt cutters? I don't think we did. I'm not sure. Uh, take all those things. For the love of all that is good and explosive. Take all the things. Can we... Yeah, we can get up this way and then... <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Uh, so we'll take the ammo marksman magazine. Sure, we'll take that. And then I guess... Here, we can throw that guy in there. And then this one should have some room for some things. Do something like that. Sure. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, I guess we could... Here. We could not be dumb. We could be smart. We can be SMRT and do it that way. I think this one... Now, uh, maybe this one only needs wire cutters. I guess we don't need the bolt cutters here. I don't know. I don't remember. Either way. Um, sure, we'll just we'll take that and sell it. It's fine here. Let's go inside real quick. It's a good thing there's no glass there, because otherwise that would make it hard to get in here, of course. And I thought there was like an ammo container somewhere. That's why I wanted to go back down here. Medical crate, we'll take that. Still haven't been to the... There's a bandit encampment that... I think it wasn't there last time I drove by, and I'm like, wait a minute, what is this? Why is it not here? Still 
still need to go to that because those compound crates are excellent. And then that makes me think, okay, well then there's two places we can go for those. Oh man, I actually want to take both of these guys. Where is that? There it is here. If we can drop you in there and you in there. Take those things, call it good. Now, for real, meet you back at the base. Now, as I was saying, it does make me kind of want to go visit the observatory. And then there's also the classified area down here. So those are kind of on the to-do list, but I actually know what, you know what? I think we have a bunch of those. And we might be able to hit the one that's down in the Southwest. I don't know. Anyway, we'll worry about those in a moment. For right now, I kind of want to just drop off some of these things. And that's going to require, wow, where did that thing go? There it is. Uh, that's going to require putting some additional storage down first. So I think what we should probably do is come up here. And then I know if I dive into enough bags, I will eventually find this guy. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. So let's put this guy, um, I don't know how I want to face you. I think maybe like that is pretty good. Let's put this right there. And I'm going to have to move... Uh, I think that's going to be okay for the walls. I'm going to have to move a bunch of stuff around to make this work, but uh, I'm going to apparently going to spend the next 28 minutes moving things around. I've moved some things around, but definitely not everything. I basically emptied uh, a box, so it's not ideal. And I mean, there's still some of the stuff is just stuff to be sold. So I guess I don't really need to, to worry too much about emptying all these containers like this guy. I mean, we can probably put that in there to sell. And this can probably go in there and we'll put that in there for now, just cause uh, we'll, I think we'll need those as part of building other materials. So for the moment, what I need to do is cook a bunch of water. So let me just cook all this stuff that I can cook and all the foods, and then I'll be right back with you again. I think that gets us into a better spot now. So I have a box of uh, basically food and stuff in there. Oh, I forgot all the food was in that one. Uh, well, we have nine in that guy. And what do we have in this one? Hmm. I mean, that's probably sufficient, really. We tend to find a bunch of food as we go. So I guess I'm going to be okay with that. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see, where are we? I should probably drop off this guy here. Let's drop off our uh, Guardian Red Dot. Put that next to the Colonel's Revenge Long Scope. And then, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking we need to look into... Let's see, where is this guy? Let's, let's grab that just to have it on hand. And then let's see what our storage options are over here. So if we go to our standard stuff, let's see. We got two of these guys already. So I think we can do... Oh gosh, how many... How many polymers do we have? We have 10 polymers. We could do one of those military crates. That's not terrible. We could do a gun locker. That's not bad either. I mean, I would prefer to have nothing but these guys, but uh, we don't really have what we need for those. We have one of those. I was thinking that for some of these other storage crates we needed, or these other storage containers, that we needed the small storage boxes, but I guess we don't. Now, we should also build a well at some point, so that'll be something that we'll need to do. Adds a marker of your base to the GPS. Okay. Sure, let's do that. I don't think I've ever paid attention to that one before. That's kind of cool. I like that. We'll pop that down, and then I can get rid of my map marker, <laughs> which I've been using like an idiot. That's fine. I guess I should go grab some more rocks at some point, too, huh? Money safe. Um... I guess since we have enough to... Oh, we should do this guy. Oh, we don't have batteries. Okay, I need to remember to grab batteries. That's fine. I do kind of like the idea of having a gun locker, though. So we'll do that. And we'll see if this ends up working out for space. That's my cat, by the way. You hear that, like, scratch, scratch, scratch sound? That sounds like scratching. Because my cat is scratching. Uh, let's put this guy... We'll put it over right here. And um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think that's probably okay for the wall. That's my only real concern. 
So it's not very big, but it is big enough that we can, you know, we can relocate a few things and it'll be all right. Like, I mean, I suppose just for the giggles, I can try to move all these weapons over there, but eesh, I just moved them. Yeah, they don't even all fit in here anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I mean, I might be able to do some shenanigans here. No, there's no way those are going to fit like that, so uh, it is what it is. Whatever. I'll just put these guys back in here, and I think maybe we'll just go hit the road because, uh, well, you know what? I, would, I do want to do a little more building first, so we'll do that just right quick, and then we'll probably need to go... Ow. Oh, no. Good. No, oh, well. <laughs> we'll need to go... Get a trader just to get rid of some stuff. So let's do maybe uh, two of those guys. Let's see, what does that give us for planks now? That gives us enough to do a few walls. So that's kind of what I would like to do at this point is I'd like to have a few walls in place. Uh, sure, let's do a few more of those. Stacky, stacky, and then we can come over here and we can do some modular walls. We need to do vertical. So let's do maybe two of those guys. I don't know where they went. Did you? Did I not click it twice? I guess I did not because I did not see them stack. And then we'll do one of those guys and maybe one more of those guys that dropped on the floor. I saw that. And then we'll do one more of those guys that dropped on the floor. Okay. So we're very slowly building up this place. It's going to take a minute, but we are slowly getting there. Let's place this guy, um, right. I cannot place it right there. Perfect. And we'll do it like that. That way we kind of hide our, uh, our generator from the rest of the world. I mean, not that there's anyone around to see or care, but hmm, you know, Seemed like the thing to do. We'll place that guy right there. I don't know if I want to place one there, but I do think I like the idea of a window there. And we'll probably put a window like right here. Maybe maybe right here as well, just so we have a nice little straight view out over there. And then I don't know if I want to leave space. I mean, we could leave this empty right here. And this could be a staircase up to a third floor. I mean, at some point, I got to redo all of this stuff. Like, this is just a bunch of random things in here. I dropped off all the alcohol because, I mean, realistically, we don't have the space to deal with that at the moment. Um, we just, uh, and by that, I mean making a bunch of Molotovs. We just, we don't have the duct tape, so it doesn't really do us any good to have that stuff. I guess, um, I guess we're good here. Let me, let me drop off a couple of these things like the, the lamps and we'll hit the road. Get rid of that guy. Good grief, man. Um, did I actually Pick up the flag, I sure did. Let's place you again. There you go, done. So now we have a map marker. Oh, I like that too. That is nice, I like that. Excellent stuff, let's get out of here. I kind of like the idea of getting all of our legendary gear by acquiring it through looting means. Uh, by the way, I, I need to reload here because holy crap, dude, this guy is just loaded to the gills with stuff, um, but I don't know. I mean, maybe if the right thing shows up, I should be receptive to the possibility of purchasing an item. I don't know what that would be. Maybe, maybe the uh, the fifty cal. Oh, I was supposed to drop those off. We don't need those. And then I think we have gotten rid of all the things. Okay, so that at least gives us a fair amount of money here. Where are we at again? We're back up to just under uh, tw uh, thirteen. Uh, bleh, Twelve three hundred. Good grief, dude. We don't need to buy any of your ammunition, so I'm not going to sweat that. Is there a trader in here? A wandering trader? Jenny Hoffman. I don't see the wandering trader in here, so I'm not going to sweat turning in credits right now. I think this is probably fine. There you are. Let's see if your inventory has changed since the last time we talked with you. You have a guardian. And you have some suppressors. I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind another another guardian, but that doesn't really do anything for us proper like, so let's, uh, let's get out of here. I've been trying to get us to complete some of the things that we started, but weren't really able to finish, such as, I don't know, like getting on top of the, the mall as a, for instance. And in the case of this one, 
Oh, you're fast. Let's get rid of you. You're fast. Let's get rid of you. You're not. This guy's like, hey man, why are you shooting me? I'm just crawling. But as I was saying, in the case of this one, uh, this house that we weren't able to get into before to do all the things. So we should... Oh, maybe we don't. It just dawned on me. We might still be missing some skills. Are we missing some skills? Mm, no. We got that one. So actually, I think we're fine. Oh, we have four points to spend. I'm kind of tempted to wait until we can get this guy just because it's taking so long to harvest everything. And we don't really need these other things. I don't care about Deathbringer. I mean, I do. I just, I don't want to die. So if I don't die, then I don't need it, right? That's the logic anyway. So wh whatever. We'll see if we can get into the house this time. I think we can. And we should be able to get into all the boxes in here. Go ahead and reload our Glock. Switch out to the Extendo Mag. And then uh, I guess this is going to be a minute. And I was about to go to the other door. No joke. That was not happening. I was about to go try the other door and see if it wasn't a, um, a master lock. Just maybe like a hardened one or something. Because holy cow. I was struggling on that one. Very, very struggly. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the razor wire. And we'll have use for those later on. Don't really need them right now, but down the road it'll be useful. So I don't think we were able to get into this building before at all. So, uh, gosh, I mean, I guess we can start loading this thing up with all the things. And I'm not, I'm not sweating. Um, sure, just go ahead and consume that for right now. I'm not sweating again, going through and like trying to, I don't know. Uh, ah, shoot. That's just in an inconvenient spot pull out all the magazines and then all the things like, eh, whatever, it's fine. We'll, we'll sell stuff as we sell it and it'll be all right. Mm, let's go ahead and scan that right now. We'll just do that. I don't mind. And then I guess we can go run to that because that's fine. I didn't necessarily have a specific plan of that, but I think that's okay. And we'll go ahead and hit this locker. Deagle. And then, oh, look at that. That is good stuff right there. We'll take that. And... Helmet, 200. I guess we could take the helmet. That's more expensive than we can take the drum. And then let's see where this laptop ended up being. If I get rid of my mark there. Um, oh, it's over here. Oh, and it gave us a coyote camp. I don't think I've seen that happen before. Well, crap, dude. I mean, I really needed to end this episode, and I thought, eh, whatever. We can do that, but no. Let's go do that. So somewhere in this general vicinity is where these guys are. I think they might be a little further, kind of like screen center and maybe down. Because I don't think they're in this church anywhere. I suspect they're down here and kind of around the way. So the game popped up and said, uh, find and eliminate 10 soldiers, but then it seemed like it all vanished off the map, and I'm not I'm not sure if the quest vanished as well. Nope, that looks like maybe that's them right there. So I think what it did, and, and it's funny, when I was driving over, it's was like, nah, maybe I have seen this before. I think what it did is it spawned a blockade for us, because, yeah, that that just looks like a, a coyote blockade, so... Let's see if we can get a little distance between us and them. And then we'll just start lighting these guys up. That one maybe is the lieutenant. I'm not sure how that's hitting a tree, but... Okay, I'm just going to stop firing right there. Because that's clearly not working. That was a couple of them at least. How are you guys doing? Maybe uh, four, five? Honestly, I wasn't counting. Probably should have been. There's the lieutenant right there. Lieutenant, I'm gonna shoot you in, in the right tenant, apparently. Okay, let's get rid of you. Now it looked like there were a couple more guys that were running around over there. Let's bring up our military binocs. 
see if we can see anyone else. I'm not seeing anyone. I'm intentionally going wide so we can try to keep as much distance as we can. That way we can stop and get a better view as the elements allow. I see you right there. I'm telling you, once these guys have range, it's going to be a problem. I mean, it is a right bear trying to go to the observatory in this game. Oof. That is tough. Like, no joke. That is difficult. Maybe that's all of them? Nope, I see you moving. All right, well, let's go back to range. Got a cat that's wandering around, scaring the other cat. Everything is great. Is there anyone over there? I saw something pop in. Switch to a different weapon as we get closer here. I think that's all of them. I mean, again, I did not count every body that we dropped, but that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and grab the truck and uh, bring it up a little bit. Should be back somewhere over here by this truck. There it is. Oh man, it's going to take a minute to loot all this stuff because last time we did one of these, it was just loot central. So let's see what we got. Let's start with you. I mean, I'll take that right away. Sure, that'll fit in there and we'll take that. Bye now. So I have since been told, uh, last time I saw one of those, that those are not the ones that do airdrops. So, okay. So noted. Guess I'm not going to worry about those ones. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen them drop anything anyway, so I'm kind of inclined to agree that, yeah, they don't do crap. Uh, but, you know, whatever. It's cool. Lieutenant here. Take your ammo, lockpicks, all that sort of stuff. I mean, I don't know, whatever. Sure, we'll take your gun and stuff. We don't really need it. Um, Just drink that. You can keep that. We have so many of them that I'm not really worried about picking up any more drink containers at this point. I don't think there are any bodies over here. I'm not really sure. I don't know if the bodies show up really well in the... Yeah, they, they do show up a little better, I think. Okay, so we did check you. We did not check this guy, though. So we'll take all that stuff. I don't even know how many we've checked at this point. Five, six, something like that. I mean, I am, I'm definitely pleased to see us getting more pills because uh, we need those guys. So here, we'll just do that. It's M4 Central over here. Have you noticed that? M4 Central. I feel like there are a few bodies we've missed. I mean, I want to say there were two lieutenants. There's a guy over here. So once again, dive into our bajillion and one backpacks and try to find out where to shove that thing. Okay, we did check you. We checked you. They have the same thing. They both have the gloves. Okay. Whatever. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I, I just, I could have sworn there was another guy like over here somewhere. But I'm not seeing any bodies, so I guess let's just go check our containers. I, I guess we got everyone. I mean, like I said, the, the map marker went off, so it vanished. So I guess uh, one of these might be... Okay, we're just going to get a compound crate. And when I say just, I mean, holy crap, we're going to get a compound crate. I was literally just talking about these things. These are amazing. I don't know if it's a guaranteed Lego, but there's one right there. Okay. So we'll put that guy right in there. And then... Are these both full? Those are basically full... So this guy full, that one is not full, so we can do that, and do that, and do that. What are you, a 762 suppressor? 
And then oodles of ammo. Lots and lots of ammo. That is really, really good right there. That maybe is the best find of all. I'm not even sure. Uh, I should mention, by the way, I did drop off a little bit of ammo at the base. I left some of the 45 behind because I figured we didn't really need it. And then I guess uh, since we can right now here, let's just fill you up. And that makes that guy nice and full. And then I left the 50 and 300 ammo at home along with, uh, I don't think we had any more grenades, but I left all that stuff back at the base too because I figured now we didn't really need that. And that, I think, wraps us up for today. We have done good work. We have found more ammunition. We have found a bunch of weapons that we can sell. And there you go, just like that. There's someone else that I could have sworn there was someone else lying around out here that I missed. And we have found them. Catch you on the next one. Dylan, thanks for watching. See you later.